Hello buddies, my name is Game Knight. Welcome to Mordheim City of the Damned Bodyhood Brawl League 3. I am ready to go up against my uh, my good friend Dig and his grandpapa's night out. <laughs> Undead. Oh. Alright, good luck, have fun, Dig. I already said that in chat, so here we go. My main concern with the Undead is, as always, since it was the last PvP match I met an undead warband, the uh, vampire. And the problem is we have Haunter in Darkness. So we're gonna be scattered randomly around the area. Oh, we got marked for death, both. Might have cut out there. We got marked for death on both of us. I do have a bit of a higher rating, but um, I know that... Whoa, there we go. I know that he uh, didn't get his two first optional objectives but that might not even matter look at this oh we are oh really bad for surveillance and we have a long way to go but we deployed in a pretty decent spot here where's my card oh there i'm i'm a tad worried about the vampire that is the main, main issue. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, Ghouli. Or Ghoulio. 64 is his initiative. I guess he's going for his idol there. I can't really see because that wall is in the way, but okay. Oh, is he going straight for my captain? I mean, that could be. Or just setting up... Yeah, an ambush. Okay, that's fine. Okay, where are you? There. All right, we need to get you... a freak out of here. Alright, there. Completely... bonkers. Oh, that is awesome, though. Able to go all the way out with one movement. That is pretty dang sweet. Can't reach him though. Can we if I do this? Nope. Alright, we'll have to make do with what we have. Set him up here. I have no idea, idea where the rest of his warman is, though. That guy, Timmy. Timmy! Reminds me of South Park. Hi. No, you don't see me. Oh, he saw me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Miss. <laughs> Called it. Youchers. Just gonna check for because it had a bit of a lag there. We haven't had any desyncs, not nothing that actually mattered during the first 50 matches or so. So that is really really good. Um, desyncs can still happen, but as long as they don't lock up the game because something weird happens and then you can't move because of the initiative ladder, it doesn't really matter uh, because then. <laughs> yeah, they tend to do that. <laughs> he has a lot of ghouls. That we know. That we know. Other than that, I don't know anything about his warband. Alright, so... You are in a heap of trouble, my friend. So let's get that frick out of here. Don't really... Don't really feel this place. He's unable to actually get anywhere. So instead we're gonna we're gonna jump down. And run towards my buddies. Hey buddies! Help! I'm being chased by a monster. A monster. He is ugly. Right, so 
Oh, Grandpa Pa is over there. This is gonna be like Krishu all over again, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he's up there. Thinking we... Thinking we catch him... Here. So that he can't walk down. He could jump down somewhere else. But for now, we're gonna leave it there. this general vicinity. Yeah, let's do that. So he can walk out there and jump down. That's probably what I would do. But still, I mean, it leaves him a bit open to everything. I mean, he has a two-handed hammer, so he can deal quite a lot of damage to Sir Launchalot to begin with. Really hope that he takes the staircase and don't see Grandpapa or Grandpa, oh sorry, um, Sir Galamad as he comes down. That would be really, really cool. I did, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he doesn't have, he has his hat on. And that's because I gave him a pendant instead to, uh, nullify some of the terror resistance. It's only 5%, but at this point, I mean, we've seen it before. 1%, 2% can make all the difference. So it's all about eliminating the RNG, and uh, that's the only way I could do that. I had two of them, so well, one of the others has the other one. Yeah, okay. So here I'm actually... Considering just waiting. Just delay for one turn. See what he does with the vampire. And then react to that. Yeah, it's it's all ghouls it seems. Fifty two. And th there's a, a trick to the um, all ghouls tactics, because then your leader won't be that costful, costly to actually lose. But still, every time you lose someone, you lose morale. Um, so if you have like a bunch of zombies, that can be a real pain to deal with, because you can't drive down the morale of your enemy. But instead, at this point, um, every time I take one down, I, he will get a nudge in his morale. Just like me, basically. <laughs> so. In total, I have two more morale than he does. Because my threshold is 22 and his is 20, he has 52, I have 56. Right, he's contemplating what to do here about this situation, I think, with with that ghoul. He is all the way over there. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. So let's view this. I'm betting he's coming out at top. I'm gonna poke his head out. Or he's I mean a tactic could also be just staying there. That could be viable. He's moving up top. Getting uh, the lay of the land. 
And, I mean, he can go out on that ledge as well. Right there. To get a view for what's actually going on. But remember, we only have two blue pills we can backtrack, so you can't really scout that far ahead. And I don't think there's a... Oh, there is a jump point over there into the barn. All right, so he could actually use that. Yeah, he's going to use that. That's fine. We know where he is. Yeah, he's down. Yeah, there he goes. Hey, buddy. Hello. <laughs> he's like... Yep, he put one at the stair staircase. Oh, is he gonna? Oh, he can't. Very interesting. Oh. Servant. Let's go track him down. Okay, so he has the ghoul there. Along with the vampire on the other side. Good trick, good trick. Thing is... We do have more firepower. Who is it that has the... Not him. A new so, round has started. It's probably going to gather everyone over there. Uh, he's going to sneak up. Sneaky. Sneaky ghoul. Ghoul of sneaks. I'm still wondering if that one ghoul is going to... He's praying and picking it up. Cost him two and three. Yep, yeah, cool. Good plan. Good plan, my man. Ambush stance. So while we could... Go for him. Timmy! We're gonna shoot him twice. Even if we don't kill him, we can uh, make sure that he doesn't actually wanna Come join this fight, which could be really, really cool. No, not that. Grab this, pray. And then grab it. Everyone's carrying their idol. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Yeah, he's right there with the dangling balls of skulls sorry this drag Ooh, he has one more there yeah two charges from these guys could be devastating though it's like a hundred hit points if they connect ghouls are insanely cool cool ghoul Sneaky ghoul. God dang it. <laughs> good job. Yeah, good job. So going for him is definitely 
going to be, or those two, is definitely going to be the, the thing we do. At this point, a bit annoying that our captain is actually caught. We'll be careful with that ambush or charge. Could be dangerous because of the placement. Interesting. Interesting. Come on. Nice. Teme. Teme, you're about to die. I put my faith into my captain being able to make it. He can make it. He can make it. Do we need a charge? 37. It's 50% extra. I think we do. To make sure he dies. Good job, buddy. That's one. Then we take a step over here. Put it on this side. And the second one goes through as well. That is awesome. And then we bring you over. Service. Uh, not too fond of that situation. So let's put him here. There we go. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Whew. George. George is indeed a shooter. So he could... Can he reach? No, it doesn't seem like he can. I don't think he can actually see my young blood from there. Or reach, for that matter. But he might be able to make it all the way down here with that halberd. Oh no, he's gonna come with his Albert. A halibut. <laughs> Not the fish. Okay. Phew. I don't actually think he can make it here. Did cost him two OP and one AP. Nope, he didn't make it. So this is survival. You take him down, buddy. <sighs> yeah, we need to charge. Yes, indeed. Hit chance three. He hit the three. Wow. Then we block off here. Easy entry to to him from uh, from either side, basically. I guess here is fine, as fine as any. <laughs> really depends on how he moves with his vampire there because we still have those two buddies standing there but I think I think he can make it but I mean hey we lured him out <gasps> what what that's a miss that's a freaking miss oh that is beautiful He had to spend both attacks moving there. And then he's gonna grab the idol. God dang it. 33, that might be over. No, sorry. 27? Yeah, okay. I would trigger the terror test on my guy. Yeah, good plan. Good move. And 33, how much uh, did it cost? How much did it cost? 16. Ten from Billy, so that's not going to be enough. So we need to take down his uh, his uh, lord there or vampire. Otherwise, we we can't win. 
It's a pity. Okay. Let's bring you in. Come on, buddy. Terror test. He makes it, even. Yeah. Which is really good because that means he has an extra attack next. A new round turn. has started. Well, we might be in trouble here because it does have Johnny coming around. He's going to tie up my captain. Or, or is he going to charge? Oh, he can't charge. Okay. Oh, he can charge. <laughs> I think he wanted to go on my henchman, though. But that is a better choice, because now I can't focus on his vampire. So good job. Even if it wasn't intended. 17. Would have been nice with the crit, though. Would have been nice. Yeah, and I can't disengage, so that is beautiful. All I can do is try and hit a hundred. <laughs> of course I hit the hundred. Oh, and he fails his terror test, so he is utterly useless. Game over. The terror makes me fall. Hope for a dodge, hope for a miss would be nice. Because he still needs to take down one, and I just need to hit him twice. And he needs to fail his... He needs to fail, or he needs to make his, his terror test. We've seen it happen. Oh, that is nice. So rival doesn't does survive. And he has the drag coming in with the halberd. Not good. Not good at all. This is dragful. Yeah, one more. And it's gonna be done. Yeah, he hit him. God Your dang it. Band morale is critically low. Fail. Awesome. <laughs> well played. Well played. 2-2. Two, two. That's the going rate against the undead, apparently, at this start. <laughs> there you have it. The defeat. Dang it. Target 44. Route test for Galamad. Oh well, that's how it goes. No reward. No uh, if he finds out points. About your defeat, well, two points. He might decide to replace you with a gang of Bretonian shepherds. And uh, if he hadn't gotten my idol there, it would have been a bit different. But that's how it goes. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna. Get ready for the next PvE mission. Ooh, that seems good. No, it's scattered. We might just roll for it now. Let me see. Poor average. Let's do one New more day. shipment request arrived. How much? 109. Average. Average good. No. Hard? Nah. That is some really bad rolls. I think we're going to do this one. Vision of Dread and hope that we don't get scared. But uh, I'll see you guys soon.
we will thank uh, you for watching this video if you enjoyed this do subscribe and share it with a friend or two it really helps out the channel and to that affect me if you want to stay in touch with me and get notified about new videos go follow me on twitter you can also visit my twitch channel where i stream every week if you're feeling generous consider subscribing on twitch or supporting me on patreon i'll see you soon have a wonderful game night